Wow, what an amazing year 2023 has been for Tourism Abbotsford. We accomplished so much this year and I think we need to take the time to look back at all of it. Let's get into it. Team Tourism had an energizing 2023 as we continue to celebrate everything that showcases Abbotsford and builds awareness and excitement to visit longer, share stories with friends, and return to experience more Abbey. We brought in the new year by hosting Indigenous Tourism BC in our community for a day in Abbey, including visits to Mathaqui Regional Park, Sumeth Regional Park, and Sumeth First Nations. Vancouver Magazine published an article on eight things to do in Abbotsford, even if it's pouring rain. We partnered with Life Cycles for a bike giveaway for the Early Bird RV Show, as well as supported the Western Golf Expo with a contest giveaway featuring Ledgeview Golf Passes and Dinner. We coordinated a Spring Breakaway contest for Spring Break. Campaign featured a contest giveaway where we partnered with the Abbotsford Canucks and Tradex to run a contest featuring tickets to a hockey game, Tradex BC Beer and Beverage Festival, overnight accommodation at Coast Hotels, and ADBA Downtown Dollars. Team Tourism collaborated with the Fraser Valley Mountain Bike Association, Sumeth First Nations, FARD, and the province to secure provincial funding to help offset costs of a new parking lot kiosk and trail market signage on Sumas Mountain. We coordinated and funded the participation of partners in the Tourism Challenge Passport Program. Participating partners included the Reach Gallery Museum, Eco Farm, and Castle Fun Park. Best of all, we welcomed Audrey to our team, and what a wonderful addition it has been. Audrey's enthusiasm is contagious, and every day she brings her passion for building community and creativity to work. Team Tourism will continue to leverage the ability of festival events to showcase the reason to come early, stay late, and return to Abbotsford. Events are the cornerstone to our visitor economy. Thanks, Barb. Quarter two was just as eventful as the beginning of the year. We started the quarter with Lakeland Flowers Abbotsford Tulip Festival and had delivering 100 bundles of tulips to our local partners. The Abbotsford Tulip Festival was able to reach people from all over the province while attracting tourists from the Washington State and other provinces. We also partnered with Lakeland Flowers to host a media event and were able to offer hot air balloon rides overlooking the tulip fields. Tourism Abbotsford launched Spring into Abbotsford, a pet POV style campaign that highlighted several of our partners including Eco Farm, Man Farms, Tapes Farms, Single Tree Winery, and Lakeland Flowers. The campaign officially launched with a pop-up at the Abbotsford International Airport where we surprised people with goats right outside of arrivals. We also worked on some fun blogs, including the launch of Bird Bingo. We work with the BC Bird Trail to promote the different places in Abbotsford that are perfect for bird watching. We also highlighted where to find mocktails in Abbotsford and had the best time testing out all the different beverages and connecting with our partners. Not only that, but we launched a brand new Abbotsford Community Guide. This community guide showcases the unique experiences Abbotsford offers and encourages people to explore vibrant events, great eateries, shopping, outdoor recreation, and more. We launched the community guide by handing it out at the Abbotsford Airport with our amazing summer students. We had a wonderful group of summer students this year, consisting of Amy, Taylor, Elle, Sophia, Chloe, Marcus, and Jessica. And we sure kept them busy as they provide mobile visitor servicing at 90 different pop-up locations and even forced them to make a giant green hat. While the students were busy in the community, Pam was busy at the airport interacting with people heading into Abbotsford. With Abbotsford being in the heart of the Fraser Valley, we're able to work closely with our neighboring communities. In the May-June edition of Western Living Magazine, we promoted our wine region in collaboration with Tourism Langley. We also highlighted our wineries in the July edition of the Abbotsford News Harvest Magazine. We value all the partnerships we have at Tourism Abbotsford. We love promoting all the different businesses and events that happen in our vibrant community and are always looking at what else we can do to make Abbotsford a place for anyone to live or visit. This past summer, we worked with the University of the Fraser Valley and the Abbotsford Downtown Business Association on the development of accessible tourism. We also welcomed some new businesses into our community, including Old Yale Brewing, where we host their spring mingler. Other mingler, we announced that Connie, Ms. Abbotsford herself, joined the Tourism Abbotsford team. Connie has been a great addition to the team with her high energy and out-of-the-box ideas to keep us on our toes. Thanks for that kind introduction, Audrey. Quarter three was jam-packed with so many incredible community events and we were kept especially busy with Canada Day for the launch of More Abbey, our Sun and Soil concert series at Cannon Winery in Lakeland Flowers, and of course our Taste of Abbey Fall Food Festival. During Taste of Abbey we celebrated all things fall and food here in Abbotsford through events like the Night Market, a guided circle farm tour, 
the Fraser Valley Artisan Food Hub's Culinary Showcase, Pickleball and Pints, Grape Stomping at Single Tree Winery, a Foraging Workshop, and the Food and Farm Awards. In addition, we helped promote existing community events like Fieldhouse Brewing's Field to Fist Experience and the Downtown Abbotsford Art and Wine Walk. On top of these amazing events this year, we added the Taste of Abbey podcast series with the Bigger Than Me podcast host, Aaron Pete. The podcast hosted interviews with guests like Amir Mon from Mon Farms and Estate Winery, Jeff Massey from Restaurant 62, Paul Sweeting from Ravens Brewing, MLA Pam Alexis, and Judy and Mike Campbell from Campbell's Gold Honey Farm and Meadery. We also brought in the Hungry for Hockey giveaway with the Abbotsford Canucks, a digital cookbook featuring recipes from local partners, and our Taste of Abbey retail shelves. We already can't wait to see what's in store for next year's Taste of Abbey. During this quarter, we hosted 16 influencers and media visits. We also partnered with the rest of the Fraser Valley group to host Seattle-based YouTuber Mina O oh for a Fraser Valley experience. Mina and Mommy O stayed at Brookside Inn and visited Tave Farms, Revive Boutique Bistro, and the Taste of Abbey Foraging Workshop. We also added an exciting new co-op program to our roster, Gardens BC. This single-day trip itinerary takes you through Abbotsford's unique collection of gardens, farms, and wineries. We also had the opportunity to provide marketing support and help coordinate the Statis Imestau gathering on September 30th to commemorate the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. The planning committee was made up of a number of civic organizations who came together with a common goal to create a space to share learning opportunities for the public about truth and reconciliation, as well as the history of residential schools. Quarter three ended on a bittersweet note when we bid a fond farewell to our former executive director, Craig Nichols. After nine years spent at Tourism Abbotsford, Craig has gone full time at his brewery, Rusted Rake Brewing. While quarter four technically isn't completed just yet, we thought we'd share just a few little clips from the last couple of months that highlights more Abbey. This past year, there's been so many incredible opportunities to bring visitors to Abbotsford, and I just can't wait to see what 2024 brings. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, it's Claire Seeley, our new executive director. That feels much better. Thank you so much everyone for the amazing warm welcome that you've all given me. And I'm so sorry I can't be with you all this evening, but I look forward to connecting with each and every one of you as we start the new year. So wishing you a fabulous holiday season and I'll see you all in 2024. Craig, you have so much to answer for. I'm five foot two and you give me shoes this big to fill. Thanks, well, here goes. Ha, 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 ha.